when, when people complain about certain areas, I ask them, have you listened to this, my teaching? Before I finish, they smile. And the person is not getting the result, and he will listen now. He say, ah, have you listened to um, 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 evidence of genuine intimacy? They help you finish it. And you look at this guy, and you know that this guy doesn't know God for sure. Are we together now? Yes. Then you tell him, go and listen to it. And he plays around while he's just listening, distracted, doing a lot of things, gisting with friends, and then catching up. And then he tells you, sir, I just finished. There are, there are certain teachings, one hour teaching, but I finished them in three days. One hour teaching in three days. Because every five, five minutes, I'm stopping. Jesus, something just entered my spirit. I see. I was studying something there and I almost jumped. I almost jumped from my bed. I said, yeah, yeah, what is this? He said, I've not read this Bible before. I had to look at it again. I found my Bible. Drilled the thing again. I don't know what I caught years ago that made me draw it, but that ink was already fading. I drew a fresh one to remind me that this is a fresh revelation. What? This is the Bible? Opened up another light for me. You finish a three hours message. You never pause <laughs> to listen, to learn. Even when something is very powerful, you are just saying, wow, just continue. Even the way you study in school, brothers and sisters, that's not how you do well. You pause. The psalmist will say, Sila, pause, ponder, think, write if need be, pray if need be. Hallelujah. If you don't like what I'm saying, forget about results. God is not a herbalist. Hallelujah. Yes. Look at the aspects of your life. You will see that there are certain areas you are in total ignorance. But you will see that there are certain areas you already have the requisite knowledge. Truthfully speaking. You already know what to do. And the grace has been supplied. But that spiritual nature, that laziness to comply accordingly and stay until results manifest that's what causes a lot of trouble what do you have in your house nothing except a cruise of oil and the prophet said that's it madam this is what i want you to do go why didn't the prophet prophesy vessels find your way to this poor woman's house say madam carry the energy you have left and go and borrow vessels he said borrow not a few when she came she met him and said, sir, I've done as you have said. He said, now you qualify for the next instruction. Close your door. She would never receive the next instruction if she did not obey the last one. Is God speaking to us? Yeah. And he said, close the door. When you close the door, start engaging the oil. The oil has capacity to give you any kind of miracle. But when engaged, and the Bible says she kept pouring and the oil kept multiplying. How about the widow in Zarephath? When the prophet came, he said, woman, how are you? Fine, sir. Water, please. Ah, I don't have much, but I'm a generous woman. And just bake the remaining bread for me. He said, we're about to eat with my son to die. He said, madam, I'm, I'm here not because I'm hungry. I'm here so that you will survive. So just handle this treasure is in eating vessels. You better quickly come and feed me first. The woman would have said, you are such a heartless and stupid man. You are the prophet they've been talking about. You are a wicked man. I would make sure I tell all those who have you are. Ah, ah, you see me and a child. You don't even love women. And start another funny women movement and say, look, there are prophets who don't, they collect things from women. And the Bible says that she, her engaging that thing, all of a sudden she turned and discovered that the flower. I'm showing you how this works. How about three days? They spent three days on the mountain. And then the people said, these guys are hungry. There will be commotion here now. And Jesus said, feed them. Say, ah, feed them. Even a year's worth of food. No miracle could happen until there, there was something from men. And Andrew found a young boy and carried his bread, his, his lunch box as they call it. And all of a sudden, Jesus lifted it and gave thanks and there was multiplication. Who taught you that things happen by themselves? 
it is the dynamics of the workings 